Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Epcot and Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind officially opens today. So I wanted to come out and ride it and show you guys how you join a virtual queue or how you purchase lightning lanes and just have a beautiful Epcot kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I brought with me today my Universe of Energy patch from the costumes from the old attraction where Guardians of the Galaxy is. And I brought it with me as kind of a little like lucky charm in joining the virtual queue. So hopefully we'll see how it goes. I already have a lightning lane to ride Guardians of the Galaxy, so we're definitely riding it. But I'm going to try to join the 1 p.m. boarding group. I want to give you guys a quick rundown on how the virtual queues and the lightning lanes work. The virtual queues have two different distribution times, one at 7 a.m., one at 1 p.m. If you want to buy a lightning lane, you have to be a resort guest to get it at 7 a.m. If not, you can buy a lightning lane at 9 a.m. once you get in the park. And it's really hard to get both a lightning lane in the morning and a 7 a.m. boarding group. So be prepared to make a choice. Like if you're gonna go for 7 a.m. and you are a resort guest, you have to decide whether you're going for lightning lane or if you're going for the boarding groups because, or the virtual queues, because they're gonna sell out so fast. But you can get a lightning lane at 7 a.m. or even at 9 a.m. when you walk in the park and still join the boarding groups at one o'clock, which is what we are going to attempt to do today. <laughs> Looks like they're selling Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind merch inside the creation shop today along with inside Treasures of Xandar. So that's good to know that it's not all just inside Treasures of Xandar. Now I know that the line to actually get into the gift shop at the attraction is probably over an hour wait. It's really good to know that they're selling the merch in two different spots. We definitely want to check that out. I hear they're selling Loki's Scepter, and that's one thing I just need to get. Like, I need to get Loki's Scepter. So we're going to ride the ride first. We're going to head on over there first, and then we're going to see about the merch, and then time it for 1 o'clock so we can try to join the virtual queue. And I'm going to do it on video. Like, I'm going to set my phone down, set my camera down, and try to join the virtual queue in real time to show you guys. Here is the line to actually get the merchandise. The Wonders of Xandar shop isn't open yet, and the only place that you can get the merch is actually here at Creations, and looks like it's just about an hour wait, they said. Rumor has it I Can is actually back. If you remember, I Can is a robot that used to patrol around Tomorrowland in the Magic Kingdom, and I hear he's back out for the opening of the Wonders of Xandar, and I'm excited to see him because he's a little snarky. Wow, take a look at this. camera shot being at that angle. It makes my chassis look bigger. I like it. It's definitely not flattering. Cheese. Cheese. How do I look? You look great. Oh, you start. Oh, oh, well, continue. You're you're wonderful. And? Amazing. And? Beautiful. And? Out of this world? Oh, you start. Have you been on the ride yet? Yes. Yes, yes. And how was it? I loved Don't it. Don't use any of the adjectives you use to describe me. I get kind of jealous. It was exceptional. Oh, that is a good one. That <laughs> is a good one. Oh. I can was hysterical. I loved it. So cool. Now we're actually going to use our lightning lane. We're going to go through. I'm wearing my Galactic Star Cruiser Magic Band. And then once we get off the ride, I'm going to show you guys the different uh, virtual queue offerings. And like I said, we're going to do the uh, 1 p.m. boarding group like live on camera. One thing that I noticed, a lot of people are just kind of waiting over here for their virtual queue return time. And it's not the best spot to actually come and just relax. There's no shade at all. They actually have these little umbrellas right here. But look, they're actually all taken up. Because like that's the only shade that you'll get. It is very, very hot out. I wish they had a little bit of coverage somewhere, but I'm really not seeing anything. And I'm joining up with my friends, Beth and Mike, Villains and Vice. Are you guys ready for Guardians of the Galaxy? Yes. Yeah? I know, so excited, right? It's gonna be a fun day. Opening day. We're making history today. I mean, we are. Yep. We're the heroes that Disney didn't know they needed. They knew they needed us. They knew they needed us. We gotta tapity tap, tap, tap. Look at that. Now giving you guys the warning here, lots of spoilers ahead. From our world to yours, we're gonna show everything. 
the lightning lane brings you right up to the pre-show area right here. And like I said, it was no wait, and it doesn't look like there's a wait for the virtual queue side either. So that's all. That's like good news because like if you join the virtual queue, you don't want to wait in line. Welcome, people of Epcot. Epcotters, Epcotians, citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? Assholders. What? Come on. Before we begin, I should warn you that we have never teleported Terrence before. But since your molecular structure is very similar to Zandarian's ancient word, still work. Like there's a little bit of a line as soon as you get out of the uh, pre-show and this is it right here that's not too bad at all i thought it was going to be such longer lines don't you think mike right i thought so i thought so too <laughs> i'm actually really hoping that we get everybody wants to rule the world that was my favorite song to ride with now you do get a uh, choice of six different songs not a choice a random selection and everyone's got their favorites so let me know which one is your favorite I'll put a, a pinned comment with all of the songs on the playlist so you guys can choose. Here it comes, our chariot. I'm so excited.
that ride. It is so much fun. Like, I still get giddy whenever I ride it. And I'm going to be that way for a while. And just the anticipation and excitement to get whatever song. Like, you know what I mean? To randomly get a song and then when you get there and you're like, yes! Or some people probably be like, aww, because they didn't get the song that they wanted. And it is so smooth. And when I say the ride is smooth, I'm talking like when you compare it to like Big Thunder Mountain or Space Mountain or Expedition Everest, how you kind of get like pushed around in the cart and it feels like a, a rough ride. This one, you kind of just feel like you're floating. You know what I mean? You don't get slammed against anything or anything like that. And uh, some people can get motion sickness though. I do want to point that out. Like some people can get motion sickness. It doesn't turn you and spin like this. It just goes with the turn and I love it. Like <laughs> I, I am so excited and I hope we get to do it again. Like we're going to try for that uh, one o'clock boarding group. Fingers crossed. I think we can do it. I believe. I believe. If you guys want to join a virtual queue, you go into your My Disney Experience app, you select virtual queue, you join virtual queue, and then you just keep on hitting the refresh button until it's one o'clock. The refresh button is down here below. And that's all you got to do. Just keep on hitting refresh, refresh until it's that moment. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get it because I, I feel like I always... I'm not good at the one o'clock boarding groups. I'm not good at any of the boarding groups. And I've done this before at Rise of the Resistance. I remember when I first went to the park for Rise of the Resistance, it'd be like 6 a.m. I'm at Hollywood Studios. I'd walk in the park and I'd go to get it and then I wouldn't secure a boarding group and then I would just leave and go home and go back to bed. <laughs> that was my life. And I've done that many occasions. So at least you could do it here. <laughs> I don't know when I should do it. Now, some people use it where you can actually get the second counter, but I'm just going to do it off of my clock in the top there and just keep on hitting refresh uh, as it gets closer. It's going to keep on doing I'm going to start doing it now. Like I'm going to do it like right now and just keep doing it. It might take a while. I'll cut right to the point where it happens, so we'll find out. Three, two, one. One. Oh, no. Done! Whoo! I got it! You got one? Yes! We got it! Wow! Yes! That's the way! <laughs> Look at that! Boarding Group 175. Ooh! Look at that! They're full already! They just made an announcement that they're full! Holy moly! Holy moly! Look at the groups here! Everyone's like, yes! They got it! We got it! Yeah! <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> wow! <laughs> How crazy is that? My heart was pounding. Like, it was like going like crazy. It's a very tense moment. And I got boarding group seven, oh, 175. I got boarding group 175. Right now, they're boarding group 79 to 98. So it's a 280 minute wait. But I got it. I got it. And like, I can't believe the loudspeaker came on immediately afterwards and was just like, they're gone for the day. They're gone. It's done. So that's crazy. What a moment. <laughs> the, the anxiety though, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a struggle. <laughs> now that we've gotten our 1 p.m. boarding group secured, I think it's time to hop in line and see some of the new Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind merchandise. I don't know if the store or the shop at the attraction opened up yet, but might as well hop in line here. It doesn't look too long at this point. I bet you we'll probably get in there within like 20 minutes. Well, the wait to actually get into Creations was honestly only 10 minutes, and it looks like they have everything. And it is way in the afternoon, like it's like almost two o'clock. So I'm shocked, like nothing is sold out. They have two different sides. They have this side over here, and then they have everything over on that side. And this side I think we're gonna start with because there's less people over here. And, oh wow, there's a lot of stuff I see already that I love. Look at this. Loki scepter with the mind stone in it. That's one hundred nineteen dollars. The power stone, the the power stone orb. That's ninety nine dollars. The ether. I think they have every single one of them. Actually, they do. They have every single inf uh, infinity stone. That is so nifty. A nice Star Lord jacket. Oh, this this actually this is like really nice. The material is very good. I don't know how much this is though. Oh, ninety nine, ninety nine. <laughs> Take a look at this. They have some patches down here for like the Guardians of the Galaxy. And then uh, down here they have an I Am Groot one. But nothing beats the universe of energy. I feel like I need to get this patch just so I can have it matching. How awesome is that that I, I knew to bring this patch with me today? 
the patches themselves are only $9.99, so I think I'm definitely gonna get it. I'm gonna get it, my hat's a little crooked, but I have to now. You actually get all six stones. Really? And the gauntlet includes the soul stone, which is only available through the gauntlet. You can't get it any other way. Wow. So you can buy the stones on their own, but not the soul stone. That is so crazy. So I just found out that all of the Infinity Stones are actually powering something, they're, they're interchangeable, kind of like something at Galaxy's Edge, like uh, Loki's staff, you can switch out the stones in there too? Yep, yep, yep. So what? In here right now we have the Mind Stone, but you could easily put the Space Stone inside of it, you could put... And it changes colors? So it will change some of the effects that you see, as well as the sounds and the vibrations. Wow. And if you buy the gauntlet, then you get all the Infinity Stones, stones. In including the Soul Stone, which is the only way you can get that one. I feel like I might get the gauntlet. <laughs> you sold me. <laughs> so that is really cool. So that's what you have to do. You have to get the gauntlet. It comes with all of the stones, and it's $100. And you can choose between Iron Man or uh, Thanos' one. I think I would go with the original gauntlet. You know what I mean? The gold one. And that's so amazing. Like, I didn't know they were interchangeable. It's kind of a big game changer. It's like adding a little bit of uh, Star Wars lightsaber lore into uh, Epcotians. Epcotterans. <laughs> I kind of really love this Guardians light up sign though. $150 for this. That is so wicked cool. Man, I would love to hang that up in my house. And then they have tons of different home goods here. They have some coffee mugs, some coasters. Look at the coasters right here. Oh, but I just keep on thinking about that light up sign. That is so cool looking. And then of course they have the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind Annual Pass Holder uh, Opening Day shirt. So it has the tape for 527-2022, which is today. That one's a cool one. This is just for annual pass holders. They also have another dated one that's available for everybody. I don't know if I like the gray one, but at least I like the cassette tape. And then here is the Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind shirt. This is just the regular black one. I kind of like this one a little bit better. Like these ones are nice. I don't know how much it is too. Oh wait, here's a price tag, $36.99. Look at that. Well, as you can see, lots of cool merchandise. I love what they're doing with the Infinity Stones. I think that's such a cool concept. And I didn't know anything about that until just now. I also like that light up sign, but it's $150. And I don't want to carry it around with me. It comes in a gigantic big box. So fingers crossed that they're going to still be in stock when I get to come here and just kind of walk around and enjoy. And then that way I can take it out to the car and stuff. But now I think we're going to actually head to space. I think we're going to go to Space 220 and eat at the lounge and kind of just relax until it's time for our boarding group. It says it's only like 80 minutes away and I couldn't think of a better place to go to kind of just kill some time than back up to space before we go to space. Like, isn't that crazy? So we're gonna go from space right to space. And like I said, as soon as we get done eating here, it'll probably be time for us to go ride our second turn at Guardians of the Galaxy for the day. I'm excited. This has been a space-filled fun day. I love Space 220 so much. It's all about the theming in here. It's the atmosphere, just sitting down, floating in space. It's so crazy. I love it. And like I said, it kind of fits in perfect with what we're doing today. Roger Centauri, standing by. Welcome aboard the Stellar In just a few moments, you'll be on your way up to Space 220 aboard the Centauri Space Station. Enjoy the ride. Is this everybody's first trip up to Space 220? Look, there's Spaceship Earth. <laughs> actually back up in space. I told you guys we were coming here for the lounge, so we don't actually have to get the prefix meal. We can order things a la carte and drinks too. And one of the things I've really been wanting to try is the chicken and waffles. So we're gonna look at the menu. I think I'm gonna get the chicken and waffles and then maybe a fancy drink. Maybe a fancy pop rock drink. Now, just because we're in the lounge doesn't mean you can't get the prefix. If you get a lounge reservation, they'll actually get you the full menu too if you want. So you basically have free reign to do whatever you want. Order drinks, order lunch items, order dinner. I mean, you can just do it all. 
Might as well, eh? The world is your oyster. Big tank. Oh, that's what I'm saying. And the nebula. Thank you. Oh. Cheers. It's really cool. My drink comes with a little space ice cream, and I'm gonna try it first. I'm gonna try the space ice cream. Like it's, it, it's funny because it's like dehydrated. I think that's what they do with it. I'm gonna bite it. Mm. It's good. It's definitely strange. I wonder if I just leave it in there or soak it in the alcohol. That might make it a little bit better. There we go. I'm gonna dunk it like this. I'm gonna rehydrate my food while I dehydrate and drink the alcohol. <laughs> now we're gonna go from space ice cream to space chicken and waffles. And this looks so good, doesn't it? Holy moly. I love the slaw and the sauce. Oh, and then we got some more coming in. Some cauliflower. And also I think we got the calamari. The calamari. <laughs> the calamari. Got a buffet going here. I know, I like it. Oh. <laughs> Also, I don't think I talked about my drink, but the drink is actually good. The big, the, the tang. Mmm. I do like it a lot. It's got a good mixture to it. I definitely think you have to mix it a little bit more because I did sip right off the top after having an ice cream sandwich, and all I got was the, the tequila, I think. So, mix it around a little bit. We're going to cut there. right on in here. We're going to cut right down the center. It's like the perfect bite, a little bit of everything on one bite. You guys know how I do it. There we go. All right, here we go. Little chicken and waffle action. I seriously like that a lot. I like the sauce. This little maple syrup sauce here. So good. I'm gonna try the cauliflower now. And I don't like cauliflower usually, so I don't have high expectation, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I don't think I'm gonna like this at all, but I'm gonna still go for it because you gotta try. So here we go. I like it. Yeah, Mikey likes it. I like it. <laughs> it's so funny because I really didn't think I was gonna like the cauliflower. Like, I was so hesitant, and I had it before. Like, cauliflower itself is, like, something I would like, but it's, like, the breading, and I think if they have any sauce on it, that's why I'm so nervous, but it was great. It was just perfect the way it is, and I highly recommend the chicken and waffle. Like, I like a lot of the food on the lounge menu, probably better than the dinner menu. Like, it, it, like this is actually really, really good. Well, our time and space has come to an end. So we need to embark back down to Epcot and then uh, transport to another like space setting. Like, isn't that crazy? Yeah, like it's crazy. Now that we're all done with Space 220, I want to point out, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did a little hat change. I ran into some friends and they brought me a nice little fedora, so I decided to wear it a little bit because I love it so much. It's a Nightmare Before Christmas one, and it's from the parks. I think they said it was from Disneyland Paris, but I, I wanted to put it out, so I was wearing it in Space 220, and I was like, I wonder if anyone's going to notice my hat change without me telling them. Like, you know what I mean? I wanted to do it, and it was fun. And now, uh, let's kind of see how much longer our... Uh, boarding group is looks like they are boarding groups 135 to 151 we are 175 so an estimated 95 minutes I am Groot I like how they have that on the top there so 95 more minutes not too shabby I'm really shocked and happy with how this day turned out I thought it was gonna be chaos I didn't come early early in the morning because I knew I had that lightning lane and uh, I, I kind of liked it I came in just slow and steady and it's been really calm and relaxing and just like that, they called our boarding group, so it's time to go ride again. I'm so excited. I hope we get a different song. Like, I mean, I think everybody wants to get all the songs, and I'm pretty sure I got them all. Either between cast member, uh, family and friends previews, the preview that I had, and now, I think I successfully had all of them. And my favorite is still, uh, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. I think it's just such a great song, and it fits perfectly. Just look at all the groups of people just waiting around for their group to get called. Just casually waiting and waiting. It gives me the rise of the resistance feelings. This is how the virtual queue is. Now, I feel like this is uh, probably on par with Rise of the Resistance. I mean, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is nothing compared to this and uh, Rise. So, 
I mean, holy moly, there's a lot of people over here. I know that there's a lot of people that talk about whether or not Guardians of the Galaxy belong in Epcot, but I have to say, like, the idea of space, I feel like it's always been in Epcot. If you look at Spaceship Earth, uh, once you actually get done with the ride, or the last scene of Spaceship Earth is you're in space looking down on Earth. So, like, I'm very excited, like, that there is space theming and everything like that, and I think it's a fun ride. Epcot needed a roller coaster. Just as I was about to open up, it looks like they opened just as I was about to actually get ready to go ride, it looks like they opened up Treasures of Xandar, so I think we're gonna hop in line to check it out. Take a look at this. Treasures of Xandar. Greetings and welcome. Greetings. Huh. Wow. They even have little Yondu displays over here. Look at this. I love it in here a little bit more. I think it's just a little bit funner. This is really cool. Most of the merchandise is the stuff that I already saw, like I showed you, but it just looks better in here. Terrors, we have so much for your delight. Please feel free to look around. Thank you. Kind of gives me the Back to the Future vibes. And he agrees. <laughs> Oh, I like that! Wow! Yeah, that is so awesome. That's a cool little fact. Thank you so much. <laughs> One of the things I didn't see over in Creations was this little fleece throw here. That's kind of cool. Guardians of the Galaxy, and then the, also the little fanny pack. I like this, and I like this strap too. I actually, oh man, I am a fanny pack enthusiast. Oh, they even have a little pinball game. What? I didn't see this. There's a lot of great things in here. Oh, this is too cool. This is $14.99. Wait, how much is the tape? What is this? Oh, this is sticky notes. Guardians of the Galaxy sticky notes. Funny. <laughs> So that is really awesome. I wasn't expecting the shop to open up and then it did. Wow, so that's really, I'm glad that we waited around. Now it's time to actually go and ride. We're gonna ride again. It definitely looks like the uh, virtual queue line got a little bit longer. Looks like it's backed up a little bit more here. We're kind of at a standstill. We are at a cosmic rewind standstill. It looks like they're only loading one side, and this one's just kind of sitting over here. Look at that. It's a sleepy uh, cosmic rewind. A sleepy cosmic rewind. Oh, now they're opening up the other side. That was a big setback right there. A lot of people might like the back a little bit more because it does switch. Spoilers ahead, like I said, the front becomes the back and the back becomes the front. If you want to ask for like a specific row, they have like a special queue over here where it's made like marked A, B, and C. Since we did the front row before, I want to do the back row. So I'm not too sure where they tell you to go, but it's nice that they accommodate that though, you know what I mean? Back row, here we go. Oh, here we go.
I love riding this ride like it is so amazing now it's not like my favorite ride because of uh, you know basically nostalgia and just history but as it comes to like my favorite new ride it's got to be that one like it really is I like it better than I like flight of passage I like it better than rise of the resistance like it's so much like it's it's just so smooth and I love the music and it was fun to ride the front and the back me personally I think I like the back a little bit better Maybe I like the back a little bit better because I think you get to see more. You know what I mean? You're not rushed through the screen sections and you get to see the story kind of like uh, like uh, going on. And I like it. And plus you get a longer launch back, I feel like. But let me know what you guys would rather front or back. Either way, it's awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, I had a pretty epic day today and I'm a little tired. I've been here all day. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.